After the Second World War, the population of the world was growing a lot. And the world went into fertilizers in a big way. It also went into pesticides in a big way to feed the rapidly growing population. But that came with its own problems because the soil started getting very contaminated with pesticides and residues from uh, the, the, the fertilizers. The way to sort out that problem is, can the agricultural profession produce their food in a cleaner manner? So that people don't have to get sick from the food and the water they're drinking. And that is actually the genesis of the long-term farming systems in the tropics project. The idea was set up, uh, tries to compare conventional and organic farming using the local farming systems. We, we have four treatments. Uh, we call it organic high, conventional high, that is a standard recommended treatment, and then the organic low, conventional, which is what farmers actually do. And we are taking very intensive scientific measurements to compare the two. We are now in the fourth phase uh, of the project, which we are supposed to conclude in 2022. We are now at a point whereby the two farming systems are significantly distinguishing from each other in terms of uh, productivity and uh, profitability. This sort of experiment has been able to generate techniques that have been shown to work for the organic farming system. These techniques have been scaled up at farm level, where we are working with farmers in various uh, counties with, within Kenya. We call this aspect of uh, us working with farmers as participatory on-farm research, whereby we are disseminating research uh, results and outputs to farmers at their farm level. Through our Syscom Kenya project, we have technologies that we, we were trying or, and testing such as composting, which is a soil fertility aspect, and uh, also fertilization of uh, farms using uh, other aspects like uh, vermicompost and vermiculture. In the participatory on-farm research trials, we adopted a mother-baby protocol. Mother being the demonstration site, which, which is researcher and farmer managed, but mainly researcher managed, and uh, baby trials, which is uh, individual farmer managed trials. So the demonstration site or the mother trial is where researchers and farmers meet for us to evaluate whether our technologies are working in the area. Kwangu, nilipo hudhulia yu mkutano, tukambiwa yale maneno about composting, ile kublek hard pan, tukahumbiliwa mpwaka hii kumek tea extract ya kunyunyizia mimea. Tulukua tumeambiwa, Kitu yenye kwa kwa shaba yako, diyo utatumia. Usitumia kutoka kwa mfuko yako. Ata majani yenye kwa kwa shaba, ni sawa. Kwa hivyo niliendelea kutumia. Iyo bed diyo nilianzia na organic. Lakini uku kuingine, ni conventional. We have found challenges along the way that we didn't begin with. For example, since 2017, the fall army worm got into Kenya. So that was not in the initial design of the project. So we, along the way, we also have tried to, together with the farmers under the focus group setup, to sit and see locally available material that we can use to manage the, the pest because it is very ravenous. We have something we call integrated pest management. With that, there will be use of uh, biopesticides, there will be use of uh, uh, companion cropping and the cultural methods that is like uh, sanitation of the farm that helps in uh, suppressing the pest. So when we combine all these uh, activities together, we will be able to achieve our goals. Comparing organic and conventional farming systems is not something you can do in a short time. It takes long term experiments and they are expensive. It takes a lot of uh, analysis, looking at data from all angles to be able to see where the benefits are. And I think that's the promise of organic farming. Uh, if we can go in more into that direction, our farming systems are going to be sustainable, our populations are going to be healthier, and uh, if we can develop the market, the mar the, our farmers are going to be happy as well, in, in the sense that they are going to be able to have livelihoods that are sustainable.